the NHS straight after a few of those doctors have to leave? Uh, will it affect? Where did you get that idea? <laughs> European migrants are going to have to leave if, what, 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 sorry, if, we, leave, if we leave the EU, migrants have got to leave and the European migrants have got to leave. Okay, yeah, the simple answer is I don't think, I don't think they do. I, I, ultimately, that would obviously be up now to the British government to decide, and the British government, uh, informed by, um, by public opinion, concerned with the NHS, and the, the, the desire of the MPs to save their own seats are simply not going to send hundreds of thousands of people who settled here, raising families here, away from the UK. They're not going to do it. The main one of the key issues is to do with the NHS is the TTIP treaty, which you may have heard of. It's a trade negotiation, so-called trade negotiation between uh, the European Union and that has the potential to create within the European Union uh, the ability for American pharmaceutical companies and amongst others to sue the NHS for policy decisions that will adversely affect their commercial interests. So, you know, lots of interlinked issues. I think the one that has been stressed by the Leave campaign is that the European Union is not free. So it comes at a considerable cost. It's not obvious to you what £350 million a week is. But let me just say I'm a Greek, okay? I oppose Trident. The Trident nuclear missile system will cost, over its lifetime, about £10 billion a year, which is the net cost, that's after the rebate, that is the net cost of the European Union. No, it's actually a little less. So in other words, the European Union is so expensive that it's even more expensive than the Trident nuclear missile system, which I oppose on the grounds of it being too expensive. Um, there is a lot of money at stake here with this decision. If we decide that we're not going to put into the European Union, some of it surely can go to sports and the NHS and the Conservatives. But they're nothing like as bad as in the EU. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, 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 it's not a country democratically You choose the vote for the long term, and that guarantees you the ability to remove these people who don't like them. You can't get really the information, however well they listen. There's a huge question that's going down for you. Well, you can see the way I'm arguing. I'm arguing for us to not protect trade in the same way as we have before. For us to buy freely from countries in the rich and poor, and not focus our purchasing just on the European Union continent, which is arguably hurting our economy anyway, which is why we have, you know, we talk about the uh, 12 billion thing net that it costs us to be part of the European Union. But that's only a small bit, that's really nothing. I mean, you know, we have a trade deficit with the European Union countries coming to 68 billion pounds last year, and that's rising. And then, I think I mentioned to you, 8 billion was recovered by UK multinationals very recently from the HMRC. But these are heavy bits of money. We're talking about a lot of cash. And you asked me, I think, about a pound of ships, is that what? There's money there to put this right. All of the cuts that were made, wrong, all of the cuts added together, cost less in the last administration, the five years to 2015, that raised less money than the European Union budget of the same people. Do you ever buy your friends, your lover, I don't know, fair trade chocolate? Your mum. Ever? Yeah? You look on the back of the packet when you next buy it. Now that's fair trade chocolate, right? Where do you think that fair trade chocolate might have been manufactured? Do you think it might have been manufactured in the place that produces the chocolate? After all, that would be fair, wouldn't it? Well, we find the cities there. It's almost certainly been manufactured in West Germany. Yeah? And they, they end up taking more from the fair trade chocolate than the people who produce the beans because we tax the production of manufactured goods that are brought into the EU from outside. In other words, the money that you spend is predominantly assisting Germans, it's not assisting the poor. Have you heard of that Norwegian? Again, they're exchanging.